sounds as much as I can remember. I'm turning off the subtitles. Forgot about that. The following day, Lieutenant Koenig, you were found by the Metz Highway, along with Sergeant Robert and eight survivors. Yes, sir. It's quite a story, but it seems we'll have to believe you. You can hit select and turn General, off the subtitles. General, just give me another. Lieutenant. Karen, I've already decided to do that. I'm sending you back to that village. But this time, you'll be a guide. Me? A guide? Our forces invaded France from the north and have managed to push back the western front beyond the Meuse River. But that village alone has stubbornly refused to surrender to us and continues to remain outside the Empire's grasp. Dom Remy may be beautiful, but it has absolutely no strategic value to us. But for the honor of the Empire, we must not allow anyone or anything to stand against us. Even if we have to face a demon itself. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The thing that annoys me about the subtitles is they don't entirely match up to what they're saying um, because they didn't have enough room when they were translating it to put the entire dialogue there, which sucks. This is Cardinal Nicholas Conrad. He's come all the way from the Vatican. You look weird. Now you look better. <laughs> Nineteen fifteen. Early spring. The world is in the middle of a huge upheaval. It started with a single shot, and the fire of war spread within a single instant. All of Europe was engulfed, and the struggle soon grew into the first worldwide war the human race had ever known. From a corner of this battlefield, our story begins once again. In England? I thought Dom Remy was in France somewhere. Oh. Ta it may not look like it, but that's Roger's house. See, he's got the heart on it. It looks totally different now. No! He's got Roger! Hmm. Yep. Oh, I want his little furry thing. It looks fun. Shadow Hawks 2. The game, or the name Shadowheart's Covenant's only on the box and used in ads and stuff. Yay, now I can talk. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, like I chose England there and then immediately we, um, go to Italy because we're going to the Vatican. This game is split, split up in two sections, just like the original. The first part being in Europe, and the second part being in Japan. The only difference with this is that you can actually go between Europe and Japan later on in the game. What a surprise. Though, it's more realistic in the original. I think you get an airship later on in this. It's supposed to be your excuse as to why you can travel so far, but you know, I mean, it's a little cheap. I think so, anyway. Um... Yeah, the name Shadow Hearts Covenant's only used in ads and whatnot. It was an added thing in the American release, and it followed over to the European release as well. The cover art for the American game is actually done by an American. I don't know why. Why would they do that? Shadow Hearts has some beautiful artwork, and they used an American. 
artwork for Karen. But whatever, at this point we're in control of Karen and Nikolai and we're going to this tower which I believe is at the Vatican. I'm not going to say that 100% but I'm pretty sure it's at the Vatican because that's where Nikolai works for. Anyway, Yuri is protecting the town of Domremy because if you caught it there when they were talking, World War I is going on and all the other towns around Domremy have fallen. It's the last one holding on. Well, of course, we know why it's holding on, but that's why all those soldiers are dead because they're coming in trying to take over the town and Yuri's stopping them. Alright, now let's go ahead and move on. The world map screen. Pressing the triangle button on the world map opens the command menu. You can also save at any time from the world map screen, so that's the same. It looks so different! <laughs> I have no score. This is kind of cool. It gives you individual statistics for the characters and tells you your success rate with the different rings. I also think it's funny that his name is Nikolai and her commander or whatever he is calls him Nicholas. Different name! Like I said before, um, the ending for this game is not based off of something you do while you're playing, it's based off a question at the end, so it doesn't really matter about us having different saves to go back. Wow, their HP and everything's really low! Not used to that anymore. Anyway, we're going to Aponia Tower? I don't remember how to say it. I don't get to talk as much in this one, it makes me sad, but there are scenes where they don't do the dialogue, so I can do the dialogue there. Is this your first time at the Vatican? Um, yes. They're at the Vatican. I need to do some careful preparation before we go to Dom Remy. There's a certain item that I must have in order to complete this mission. A certain item? Yes, a sort of good luck charm. It's used for exorcisms. And that's where we're going now? Yes, it's inside a Poina Tower. Poina. Also known as the Tower of Atonement. It seems you know of it. For many, many years, dangerous heretics and others like them were kept in prison there. Now I wonder... Filled with the spirits of those who went mad from the torture. That's why it's a safe resting place for the item that I seek. But why am I coming? Well, to get to the top of the tower, I need your help. I'll feel much safer if you're with me. Nikolai interrupted me, now I don't know what I was going to say. It's this way, Lieutenant. Our first dungeon. This is more of a tutorial than anything. Yeah, yeah, I get to talk! I should warn you. It's completely different here inside the tower. It's filled with real monsters and ghosts, you know. Monsters? <coughs> but don't worry. Compared to that demon in Dom Remy, this should be a snap to handle. Now, make sure you don't wander too far away from me. Let's go. It's kind of interesting that that statue's in the background. That is called La Pieta, and it is actually at the Vatican. It's a beautiful picture. Or not picture. Wow! Attack ratio a little high. <laughs> 